Holy crap. <laughs> yeah, it was plugged in. And you're still there. I don't know why that... Okay, cool. Well, suddenly it works. No, so you can't, that. can't share video through Skype and through Twitch, I'm guessing. Yeah, that must be it. All right, people. Hello. Welcome. And I'm back. Six to do my face. I'm here. I might be here more regularly. That's a tease. Um, so, yeah, he'll be right after these messages. We'll be right back. Okay. Um, so, actually, Pantix, you need to tell me right now, am I doing this without you, or are we streaming again later tonight when you're here? She gets to decide. She's the she's the lady. I can really quickly guys show you guys what I've been working on. That would be entertaining, right? I could do this. Uh, looking very HD. Hey, Sly! Oh my God, everyone's here. I love you all. Um, thank you so much for stopping by. And just, seriously, man, thank you for. Thank you, my follow. Thank you, Bobby, for following. I fucking love that follow. I've missed that. That. I miss that very much. Um, just go, she says. Okay. All right. Fair enough. So I'm just going to go. I'm going to go ahead and edit the scene really fast and make my camera just a wee bit bigger so you guys can see this. Ah! Okay. We're going to make this a little bit bigger here. You guys are going to lose. You've lost the perception of what's going on here. The illusion has been broken, but it's okay. Uh, I just I still get to leave my awesome art up here. Uh, okay. Oh god, that's loud! It is loud. It's super loud. Um, because, you know, I... Yeah. And <laughs> now my Uber driver thinks I'm weird. Alright! Let's have some fun! Um, so this just showed up on the doorstep. Okay. Exploding kittens? What? I didn't order anything with exploding kittens. Oh, that's right. Our manufacturer is the people that manufacture exploding kittens. So let's cut this shit open, shall we? I'm gonna pan down a little bit here. Boy, boy, boy. Um, then let's figure this shit out, shall we? Let's try not to cut open any, well, body parts or anything else. Uh, I'm assuming you're watching on stream there, Randar? Do it. Do okay. it. All right, so here we go. We're cutting open nicely. Hey, yes, man, thank you. I'm going to shake a knife around. It was wonderful to meet you, too. Uh, hopefully we'll see you very soon. Please tell everyone to stop by here because you're super awesome and influential. And everyone, everyone who's listening, go click on man's name right now. Go, I'll threaten you with a knife for this one. Go click on man's name right now and go follow him. Right now. Follow him on Twitter. Follow his stream. He's an awesome guy. You've got it. You absolutely have to. You, you're doing yourself a disservice by not following him. So 100% follow him. Um, all right. So cut open. All right, so you guys can see, like I had to actually open it right then. I didn't open it beforehand. Let's get rid of some garbage. Oh my god! All right, let's get rid of that. Um, so, here is two boxes that feel very, very nice. Oh, dude. Oh my god. All right. There is our fucking game, man. There it is. You fucking there's the game. It's there. It's this is in not fitting the webcam right because I suck. Oh my god, it's so awesome. It has look, Pantix. It has a UPC. People can buy it. They can scan that pile of crap and go buy it. Oh my god. So. Let's let's open one of these. Wow, these are a little bit big. They're a little they're a little wider than I think they should be. Did you hear that, Randar? You'll be able to see it on screen in a second. I know you're you're delayed, so it's really, know, it's, it's messing with my brain, man. It is messing with your brain. Um, they're a little they're a little off on the size. They're a little wider than I thought they would be. So we might need to talk about that. But fuck it, let's open up one and see. Uh, See if we can look at the cards, shall we? All right. Oh, please be linen. Please be linen. Oh, God, yes. Please be linen. Okay. So the boxes are a little too big, which I find is a bit concerning. But no, it makes it easier to get the cards out. It does make it easier to get the cards out. I'm just worried about them collapsing on the side. So you guys can see there's the cards in there. 
Can you show? Can you leave the cards in and show the 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 airspace? Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Okay. You'll be able to see. So that's the gap. Um, they folded the instructions slightly differently, or they printed the instructions on a gigantic sheet of paper. But we will see in a second. That's yeah, a little it's a little, little big. Yeah, it's a little bit too big. So we will see. Let's pull the instructions out first. Okay, so they must have changed the dimensions based on the instructions. So here are the instructions. Okay. Okay. So there is... The, the size of the instructions will help to prevent some folding, but <clears throat> it could still crush. Yep. So looks we actually good. have instructions. These are... The, there we go. They fold there. great. That looks nice. And folds up to be a little package with my little... There you go, right there. Colors on it are pretty good. Colors came out the way that I wanted them to. Um, yep. There's our company logo on the back. There's all of our information about us. There's a whole bunch of names on there. Some of you guys, if you're, let me see, let me see. Uh, some of you guys will see your actual names on there because some of you in here are code Focus, focus. Focus, focus. Uh, there we go. <laughs> So there might be a few names on there that someone in here, real names, IRL names, that people do actually recognize. Um, if nothing else, the best darn chat on the internet. The best darn chat on the internet. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's, you guys do see that, right? Here we go. This is, I'm going to make sure that that's pointed out. Uh, it is a kid's game. There you go. <laughs> there. See? With the knife pointing at it. The best darn chat on the internet. We took damn off because it's a kid's game. But... Um, Okay, so let's look at the cards. Oh, they're linen. Oh, are they ever linen? They are linen. They are the linendest of linen. Okay, guys, so here is the actual cards. These are the actual colors. This is what people will actually have in their hands sometime soon. I'm going the wrong direction. You guys can't see the colors. Look at all the colors. It's the colors. All the colors. Okay. Um, they are linen finished. I don't know if you guys can tell. Um... But, oh my god, that's so good. Let me see if I can get this thing to focus. Can you see that slight texturing on it? I can see it on my camera, so hopefully you'll be able to. The cut uh, looks good. That is, yes, the cuts are good. The backs of the cards look really, look crisp as hell. Like, they just, oh my god. Uh, I can, yeah, I can see the linen finish. Um, 310, right? That's what we went with? So yeah. it should be nice and, it's nice and solid. Yeah. They are not super stiff. They kind of have a flex to them. I'm not sure about that. They don't feel as hardy as the the 310s that I'm used to feeling, and they don't appear to be black core. I was going to say, yeah, uh, hold they it up close so down I the don't side. I do know if you guys can see. It won't focus on it. They are white core, not black core. But we did. they did say white core. That's not a mistake on ours. I just, when we saw the numbers, I thought that it would be a little thicker. So, so anyways, let's yeah. look and make sure all the numbers are here. we got to check, right? So, I'm sorry, guys. I'm not paying attention to the chat. You guys are amazing. Yes. All, all of you are wonderful and amazing and great, and I love all of you. Just mm, mwah, so much. Much love. Um, so I'm going to go through these really fast. I'm going to make sure that they're all here. Uh, I'll do it like Sesame Street. We're going to start with one. No, I'll do oh. it really fast. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So we have all twelve air. Oh, uh, uh, uh. Three, four, five, six. Oh, Jesus, they're in the, the stupid camera. This fucking thing. Okay, seven and eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Those eleven and twelves are from you guys, by the way. If we hadn't gotten back for the, the expansion, those wouldn't be there. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The red looks really. And twelve. Okay, for fire, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Of spirit, and finally one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of water. God help me, there better be nine through twelve somewhere else in this thing. There we go. Nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So we have all of the spells. Yay! Spells, they're here. <coughs> oh my god, this is so good. This is so good! They're so good! Okay. Um, now uh, we have our four wild cards. They're all there. Okay, good. So far, we're good with this. Let's jump back into let's actually let's before we get to these super awesome creatures, uh, we do all of all of our assisting cards, the spell blend slash uh, creature group. 
They're Four. all here. They look great, I think. I'm going to turn the camera a little bit so I don't have to stand all off center. So Six. I, the colors look really good. They do. They look really good. Colors nice and clean. Really the red looks nice. The red came out very well. Yeah, it really did. Fantastic. Oh, so good. Okay, so those are, there's the six ones. We have six of them in there, not just four. Uh, we yeah. always had four before. We have six because, once again, you guys helped us make an expansion, and that's in here. And there's the back of the creature cards, which I think came out pretty good. Get that to focus right. <coughs> yeah, there we go. Yeah, there it is. Good. Come on, camera. Stop, stop freaking out. There we go. Okay. And let's see how the creatures came out, shall we? All right. God, that's a solid sounding shuffle. That's, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but... Oh, that's great. It's fantastic. Okay. Cloud Fairy came out great. We got number one there, the Cloud Fairy. Came out pretty good. Gather Glider looks great. That's number two for the air. We've got the Karma Wing for number three. And the Plains Runner for number four. These are looking... These, I, the color on these are... I mean, actually, we should go back to the Karma Wing really fast. That... Look at that, guys. You're right. I mean, Casey, the the reds. They're really good. They really pop. Okay, let's keep going here. We got it. We have sixty of these to go through. Sixty of them. So we got number five. We got the humming matriarch. Hopefully, I didn't misspell anything there. We've got the royal griffin at number six. The sky whale at number seven. Primal wind at number eight. And we're really close to showing off some that we've never even seen in card form, guys. We're right there. Okay, cloud charger at number nine. Wind Dragon at number 10, and for the first time ever, we're all being revealed at the exact same time. The very first time anyone has seen the the Bloomed Porcine at number 11. There's our flying pig. I really wish Pegasus would have fit. <laughs> Pegasus did not fit, but it, I think I think we did good with Plumed Porcine, so we were good. Um, we got the Plumed Porcine. We have the Sky Hunter. This is another one. This is our first time. You guys are seeing it for the very first time on a card. It's like... Pantix and I and Randar, the three of us have not even seen these on cards. It's the first time. Okay. Oh, that turned out great. Yeah, the Sky Hunter came out really good. This is actually our nieces. Um, Pantix and I, uh, we have a pair of nieces that live in Houston. One of them is named Skylar. The other one is named Hunter. We told them to draw something, and they drew something absolutely insane. And then you, our amazing artist. the original? Artist, say what? Do you have the original? I don't. I don't. Oh, but I, I'll, I'll show you guys the original sometime. It was insane. It was mentally, it was, their children are, they're special. But uh, our amazing artist, Chelsea Flores, which, honest to Christ, it's on our website. Go to our website, look up, uh, go to the cast capture page. We have a link for Chelsea's stuff. Please go check out her DeviantArt stuff. She's amazing. She yeah. turned the insane ramblings of a child into one of the coolest looking creatures ever. I think it's looks great. Great. Okay. So, now we're going on to Earth. We've got our Earth Sprite. Number one right there. We've got the Bollywoggle. There's a fun story with that one. We'll tell that one later another time. Right there, we've got the Rhino Beetle. Actually, wow, that, the, the, you'll see this in a second. The Emerald Sheen on the back really came out good. That, the, her, the, the wing cover really looks nice on that. Came out really good. Not one that I was expecting to actually look good, to be honest. Hey, there's one. What's that one? I don't know. That one looks familiar. We might have people in here that have seen this one before. Number four, the Chin Champ. Um, and this is this is our homage to Chinchilla Dave in the best damn chat on the internet. This is the one. This is you guys. It's all you, right here. Okay. So, anyways, moving on. Um, yes, thank you, Randor, for throwing that in. Yeah, click I did on that link. A wild Chelsea you. appears. Absolutely worth your time. I should have made him bald. Hey, he wasn't bald whenever we made that card. Thank you very much. That was back when he had hair. Um, all right, the new genus Venus, which you guys have no one else has seen before on a card. This is the first time we've printed it up on a card. The camera doesn't want to focus on it because I'm in frame probably. Here we go. Here, get me out of frame. Focus on that. Um, looks really good. Oh, my God, that looks so good. Uh, <laughs> well, I was pajama pants. Oh, the Carnaflora. Holy crap. All right, speaking of awesome reds. So the reds look good on that? Look at that. You'll see it in a second. The blue eyes are glowing ominously. Oh, it looks so good. So good. Okay. Moving on, we've got the Hare Hound. We've got the Earth Keeper. Oh man, the, 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 the stone arms on the Earth Keeper came out really nice. Well, that's always been kind of the, the what do you call it, the mascot almost, yeah. Will. It really is. 
They have a really the the ink they're using is really rich. Yeah, I like it, it is. It's really That's good. good. See a lot of good detail in it that you put in. I'm I'm anxious to see how the um, uh, King of the Sea and the Flame Dragon worked out. Yeah, yeah, <clears throat> so the Teratois, a little bit of a. There we go. That's that. Number nine. Number ten. We've got the Earth Dragon. That was the first one. It's the progenitor of all of this, if you will. Now, once again, the 11s and 12s are new ones that no one's ever seen before. Um, is Chaotic in here? I don't think Chaotic's in here right now. Aww. So, aw. It's a, a very sad panic because I know what number 11 is. Uh, I'm sad that Chaotic's not here. Uh, everyone needs to screen cap this and send it to her Twitter so she knows that we were thinking about her right now. Like, I get, put a Chaotic hype in chat. Like, Chaotic Hungry is the lifeblood of so many things in this community and just... That needs to be said. Anyway, so moving on. Chaotic's a living work. Okay, well, blow her, blow her car up. <coughs> you know, with messages while she's driving. I don't mean actually. Her. <laughs> um, there we go. Well, you guys see before she does. So I give her all those compliments, then I steal this from her. Um, there is, there's our Albert. That is our. That's that is the one that you guys helped vote into creation. By the way, that was the backer voting creature. This was going to be just a promo card, but you guys made it a reality. There's the owlbear. Okay? All right. And this is another one from the community. Here's our Gyasaur. Let me get out of the frame so the thing stops focusing on my face. Um, that is awesome. You guys actually saw me draw some of the stuff on there. There are little birds. You see the little, you'll see the little crappy little black squiggles? That's hard to see. And right there. And right there. That was my artistic contribution to this entire game. Focus. There we go. There you go. Nice. Um, okay. Then we've got the Fire Fairy. We're moving into the reds. Man, that red pops. It's so good. Okay, we got the Fire Fairy, the Cinderhog, number two, Molten Larva, which might be the best named creature in this game, named by our artist Chelsea Flores, at number three. We got the Flame Swan at number four. Oh, the Volant Vulpus. I love the flying fox. It's so good. Volant Vulpus. Volant is to fly. Vulpus is the genus of fox. Volant Vulpus. There you go. Or maybe not genus of fox. It's a Scandinavian or Slovakian word for fox. Something like that. Anyways. Kindle Kitten. There is uh, there is Miss uh, Stephanie's. Randar has a wife. Someone decided to spend her life with that guy, which I don't understand why, but someone did. Hey, and, no. uh, this is hers. Right there. It's there because I'm rolling fat as a game designer, man. Yeah, exactly. We make all the non-monies. Um, <laughs> Burning Angler, right there. Oh, that looks fearsome. That's good. I like it. He looks he looks horrifying and flamey. Living Blaze, this is another one of the classic ones for the game. This one has been around for a long time. Uh, number eight. What do you mean, a long time? That was the first. Yeah, that was the original. <laughs> was, that was what made us decide to go with Chelsea. Mm -hmm. That was her demo for us. Heck of a demo, huh? Number nine, we have the Nightmare. The nightmare looks good. Number ten, we've got the Amazing Flame Dragon, which, goddamn, that looks good. Yeah. Holy hell. Focus. Focus. So good. <laughs> hey, hey, tell me more about the non-money. Dave Ferguson. <laughs> All right, if you guys are in here, um, Google Google uh, the Great Debate. Don't get good at you. Uh, can you just go to Amazon? Just, uh, Casey, throw a link up there. Um, we'll right. get a link in chat in a second. If you want a good party game, um, you guys absolutely need to click on this link and pick up a really awesome party game where you get to argue with your friends about nerd stuff and, you know, strangely, oddly dramatic ones are mixed in there, too. Stay away from the red cards. Anyways, but, yes, yeah, there will be a link up there in a second. Randor's going to take care of it. I'm working Flame on Dragon. So we also have... Okay, now we're about to get into 11, so we got a new one. Never before seen. World first reveal. Emberhound. That, he, he definitely looks like he's a hellhound. It's very, very ashy. Got the, like, the burning stuff on the bottom. I love the way that glow came out. He has a little glow around his tail. It's probably the best place to see it. Looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. That is, that is awesome. Little devil, devil dog. There, and... Oh, the pyre prowler. There's our burning, so we have a burning cat and a burning dog. There we go. See? Burning cat, burning dog. So there we go. Fire Prowler. Fantastic. I love these backer creatures. Yes, yes, M M's actually watched me work on some of these. Some of you guys have watched me work on some of these. This is great. Um, all right. So, into the spirit, the second to last set. We got spirit creatures. We got one for spirit. 
Sprite. We've got number two for the Shifting Puka. Number three for the Eighth Arachnid. Number four for the Lapsaroo, which is arguably there the we cutest go. one. This is better. There we go. Now it's actually in there. focus. Sorry, guys. This is kind of hard to do. Um, number five for the Soul Kit, with now with two eyes. Um, <laughs> yeah, you like that? Tell that story. That's a great story. So Chelsea is an amazing artist. Uh, she's not necessarily the best at perspective on animals sometimes. So she's gotten better. <laughs> she's gotten much better. Oh, God, yes. This is one of her earlier ones. Um, when she drew this and presented it to us, uh, the Soul Kit... Let me see if I can get to focus. The Soul Kit didn't have two eyes. So it had one eye, the, the eye that's really big and prominent. And then this other eye right there was actually uh, not there. And it made it look like the head was turned to such a degree that it was snapping its own neck. It was pretty brutal. Like, it was it was pretty brutal. Yes, and our niece calls this one two butts. So our nieces know this one is the two butts. But uh, so in Photoshop, I cut the eye out, the, and I made a copy of it, and I moved the eye over. And so now it has two eyes, and it doesn't look like he's snapping his own neck. Yeah, that was yeah. terrifying the first time. I was like, oh, it's so cute. Oh, my God, what happened was, to it? It was kind of horrifying. Okay. <laughs> So he's number five with the soul kit. Uh, now we've got, let me get in focus, focus. Maybe force it to focus, no? You don't like to focus? Okay, screw it, no focus needed. Uh, Nighthound, and number six used to be the Barghest. But no one knows how to pronounce Barghest. Barghest doesn't split very well. Um, the Hamadryad, you guys helped name this one, all you backers, so I'm gonna force and you to focus. Create it for that matter. Yeah, so you guys helped us pick to make this one. Uh, so that one is all you. That one's all you guys right there. And that is fantastic. It looks really good. Will O the Wisp. Little one part Calcifer, one part, uh, what was the other one? It's Calcifer and uh, Calcifer oh. from House Moving Castle, if you guys know that one. Yeah, I'm trying to remember what the other one was. Wasn't it a, um, no, it was the, uh, what's its name? Pokemon, the, the purple thing that's kind of a flame. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, All right, it's a Pokemon creature. White Stag at number 9, and finally, the Spirit Dragon at number 10. Let's try to get a good focus on this one. I'm going to force you into focus. That looks great. Those little subtle colors in it. So good. So good. All right. Don't hurt, don't hurt yourself patting yourself on the back there, sir. Hey, that, <laughs> one, that one was a lot of work. Um, number 11, for the first time ever, world-class first-time reveal. There's the Simeon Shaman. That one is our magic-using monkey. Right there. And we've got the Soul Keeper. Who's, who's a play on goalkeeper, so it looks like she's diving to get a soccer ball. That's what she did. Okay, so Soul Keeper, now we move on to the water. Finally, we're almost done, we're in the last set. We've got the Water Sprite, which is still one of the best looking ones. I, she just did amazing work on that. She did really good, beautiful lines. Uh, we've got the La Corne de Mer. The leafy sea corn in, in Randar's heart forever and always. The Miss Darter, named by Miss Chaotic Hungry herself. Um, Tripent, right there. The Princess Jelly, anime character, right there. The, little, the name is an anime character. The King of the Sea, here we go. Let's see if we can get focused on that. That looks awesome. Let me look at it myself. Yeah, it definitely has a shine. Like, there's definitely kind of a, like, a almost a pearlescent shine to it. It looks really good. Grabbing no metallic anything in it, it definitely has a good look to it. And that is that is a joint <coughs> composition between Chelsea's shading and uh, Casey's texture work. Yeah. Really brought that stuff out. That was my first texture, and I'm so happy. And now we've got the mermaid at seven. Loud typing. Yeah, that's Yeah, that's sorry, Pantex. That's, that's my mechanic keyboard. Or mechanical keyboard, rather. The Aqua uh, Prima. The Drakatois and the Water Dragon, and finally the last two, once again, never before seen, and one of these should be amazingly apropos if he's still hanging out in chat with us. Let's hope so. We have the Mirror Captain. It's the Mirror Cat, but he's a captain. Mirror Captain. Huh? You are correct, Rock. <laughs> and finally. Living water is what I'll always call this one. Aqua vitae. Uh, focus. 
There we go. Holy crap. Yeah, there. That is that is a good looking card right there, people. That is a slick one. And that was, I think, the last one she did. That was the last one she did? Oh, no, there was an otter. There was an otter. That's the last one she did for the game. For the game, yeah. And that was probably one of the most, one of my favorites, because she did, she threw it all out for that one. All right. So now, finally. Yes, it was Dave's. The, uh, the real test. Oh, <clears throat> hold it up in the air and bridge at the same time. I've got to do it down the table. Ah, oh, that feels so good. Yeah, David, you did you did good with that one, man. You did real good. All right, they exist. They're real. They shuffle really nice. Oh, those feel so, so good. So they shuffle well. They're not. I mean, they're cards, but they're little little touch flimsier than we may have wanted. But it looks like with the linen, they'll. They'll, stand, they'll still stand up for a long yeah, they time. They should stand up for a, for a long time. They're once again they are a bit thinner than I had hoped, but they're not. They're they don't quite have the the hard spring that you'd get from like a high end uh, like a casino poker card. Mm -hmm. But as far as game cards go, they they're definitely soft. feel good. They definitely feel like that linen finish, and then how easy they are to move, and how easy they are to shuffle. Cool. These are good. Really, this, okay. this isn't in camera. You guys should probably. I should probably just. So, so if we need to have them at a casino at like uh, Caesars, they're maybe not. But for yeah. everyone's table, they're going to work out fantastically and feel awesome. Stop going up. Of course, it went ahead and went up. All right, so that was great. That was. <coughs> this exists. This is real. This is a thing. Oh my god. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Just gonna, I need to go. Like I have every intention of going to the gym as soon as I get off of stream here. But like I kind of just want to sit here and shuffle these things for a little while. So good. So, uh, so great. Yep, that was an orgasmic sound for me shuffling. Deal with it. It just it happens. No, actually, I, I think I think it's they're they're really good. I mean, the little the little gap is is strange, but it seems like it's there because of the instructions. But instructions are folded almost perfectly. Yeah, the instructions. So so the reason why there's that gap, and yeah, you're right. The reason why there's a gap is because the instructions are folded in thirds. And the instructions I thought we were going to get were going to be folded in fourths. And that's why there's, that's why there's like, there should be like a hard line right here. It should be folded right there. Just on the, just on the side of the cards. Or do things reversed. Um, but, uh, that's, I don't know, like, between going with the argument of trying to make a smaller box and trying to get them to fuss with that, because it looks like they blew the box up a little bit. Yeah. I mean, the box feels nice. The, the box is a, is a high quality cardboard. Uh, it looks good. I think it looks good. But that that little bit of hollowness, I'm not sure if I care for that. So we will need to have a talk off of stream and figure out what we want to do with that. Um, so the box is not as, as thick as what we, we were hoping? No, the box, the box is as thick, but with the cards not pushing all the way to the edge. You see what I'm saying? See, since the cards don't literally push all the way to the edge, it feels flimsier. Does that make sense? I'll show you as soon as I get the instructions in here. But... Since there's, if they were hard packed in, if they were tightly packed in, it would feel more rigid. But since they are not hard packed in, since there's, since there's a little bit of shake in it, I don't know. I don't know. That's a discussion to be had. Uh, I think it's, I think it's pretty solid. I think it's something that exists and it's real and it's awesome and it's fun. And you guys were here to share it with me, and I thank you uh, very much for that. Hey, Slander Jack, what's up? Hey guys, how's everyone? Hi, everyone. I'm sorry, I haven't been paying attention to the chat at all. Um, not at all. I've just been doing stuff. So, um, so anyways, uh, yeah, that's, I might want to talk, I don't know. I think we might want to talk about getting the dimensions on the box changed. That bothers yeah, me. Yeah, I, I watch I this. See. So this one's a sealed <clears throat> one, and you'll be able to see in a second. You can, you can... There's definitely some squeezing to be done. Like, you can actually yeah. bend that in. Well, we have to talk with Kat and see if they can refold the instructions a touch. Although, I guess I would imagine that if they, uh, the, the box gets resized, they will fold the instructions however is necessary to, um, to make right. it fit. I mean, I could, I could go with this. Like, I, would, I could sell this just fine. Yeah. Um, it just but... feels... It just feels... It doesn't feel as solid because there's all that... There's all that wiggle in it. So. Well, you could always do the thing like you know, it's it's meant to it's meant to be destroyed, so they have to get a new copy. <laughs> you know, like an iPhone. 
No, we should talk to you about that because we want it to be as tight as possible. So loud. Okay. Let me shrink myself back down a little bit. Thank you for the follow, Asher. Ashler, sorry. Um, welcome to whatever the hell this is. And whatever the hell this is about to become, by the way. Um, there's, we, we've got some, we got some news, uh, hopefully coming in the pipe soon. I'll actually be joining everyone again. I will not be quite the hermit that I have been for the late two months, last two months or so. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, I know, Cal. Oh, Cal, hi, Jesus, everyone. Oh, it's so good to see you guys again. It's so wonderful to see you guys again. Um, really fast, I'll show you some stuff and then I'll have to go. So this is gonna be a bit of a quick one. We gotta go talk some more business and stuff, some, some version of stuff, but uh, check this out. Um, so this is the, uh, this is the Hill Giant. I know that you guys haven't really, this is the other game we're working on. This is a big game we're working on. This is the one we've been doing for a bit. And um, so this is the Hill Giant with the brand new overlay. I'd love to know what you guys think about the overlay. <laughs> Hello? Oh god, where's Luke? Hello? Uh, anyways, sorry. Uh, Pax joke. Uh, um, Alright, so so here's the hill giant. I, uh, we just did a new overlay for it, so all of this stuff is new. Um, the, the hexes uh, in the corner up here, uh, there used to be two of them. We've now increased this to be three levels per side. These are double-sided cards, so I can click on this. So you can see that uh, this is level one, two, and three on one side, and then when you go to the other side, levels four, five, and six, the things change, it gets a little more difficult and stuff like that. Um, oh my god, just let me play test it. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, have, we'll have stuff soon, really soon. Um, so this is a hill giant. Uh, I might tweet some pictures out or something, but you can kind of get a zoom in on what one of the, one of the sectors looks like now. Um, completely redid the graphics on the, the backgrounds, uh, on the life track, or on the, the life totals, the damage totals, uh, the icons, identifying what type of location it is, all that stuff. Um, lemons! Hey, lemons! I know! What? Dover's on. What the hell? Where did that happen? Hey, lemons. Uh, we just, you can watch the VOD later. We just went through all the cards that you're about to get, Mr. I won a uh, contest last year and needs to get my prize. Um, well, about to get. You'll get it whenever they get in for everyone else, because you wanted that one. Um, all right, so there's the hill giant, and here is the pack. So there's the pack. There's the really horribly creepy, disturbing pack master and all the wolves circling him right there. Um, and then the last one I'll show you guys is the fully rendered version of the Minotaur. Look at that badass. So. We redid all of the overlays. Uh, we redid all of everything, and it's it's there's there's entirely new effects on all these things: drop shadows and filters and embossing and different opacities and different textures. And it's been a lot of work, a lot of work. But it, I think it looks really good. So I'm uh, you know uh, the guy that does our Rook, uh, Rook the guy that does our Rook, the guy that does our art for for us named Rook Tramada uh, is doing amazing work. I mean, this is the best. This is the coolest looking Minotaur ever. He does not, like, Minotaurs do not get cooler looking. Like, this guy, look at this brutal, this, this guy's, this guy's gonna wreck the face. He's amazing. Um, uh, and, and I, we need an overlay that, that at least, I mean, doesn't match, but at least supports and doesn't take away from the quality of the artwork that we're, we're doing here. So what role are he's gonna play in the game? So, uh, in, um, this, uh, in this game, uh, you are, it's an MMO boss fight in a box. So every player is playing a class uh, that is using class cards that uh, I might just go ahead and grab the demos for really fast. Yeah, you might as well. So like here's, this is the, uh, this is the cleric cards right there. So this is what, this, this is what all the cleric cards look like. Um, these are all individual, all unique art pieces uh, for every single card with the brand new overlay that I did recently for them. So they look completely different. Uh, but they look really good, just fantastic. Um, then the, we've got the assassin. There's the new assassin cards, how they look right there. And what's the other one? Warrior. 
There's the warriors. That's so, so crisp. Like, the art looks amazing. I just, you know, my overlay, I just hope my overlay is not too garbage, but the art oh, so looks so good. Um, and then finally, the last one is the Berserker. I want to say this one for this one, for, the, for this group last, because of all the, I don't know, this group's violent. Anyways, um, uh, I, li <laughs> I like that one of the attack areas is his balls. It's true, Dergar. Um, yeah, Dutch, Dutch, well, you, Dutch, you wield your power whimsically, I don't care. Um, <laughs> protect lemons, don't you touch them. So yeah, so there's there's the Berserker, uh, and so this is it's really this is cool. So, anyway, so this is all the art for every single class has a unique art for them, and then they all fight against the central monster in the middle, and then the monster is broken up into different sections. So you can see up here we have a broken horn, and the Minotaur's head, then the sharp horn, axe head, handle, handle, leg, leg, and cloth armor. That is not his crotch; it is cloth armor. The cloth armor is covering his crotch. <laughs> We did at one point in time actually have crotch written there. Um, you know, no, in retrospect, we should have called that one like Rocky Mountain Oysters. We should have. We should have. Hmm. Okay. So, awesome. Okay, that's it. I know this is short, guys. Um, as a bit of a tease that I mentioned earlier, uh, we do have plans of being around uh, much more often. Uh, Randar and Pantex and I... Uh, being around and doing something um, really weird and interesting and unique. And, and I know that I'm just bearing the lead and teasing you guys here, but that's how it's going to have to be. So keep an eye out on our Twitter at Randover Games um, and keep an eye out or follow this channel if you're not following already. And uh, hopefully soon we'll have something really fun for you. Thank you guys for being here for the unboxing. I'm glad that I got to do that with like everyone because that was super fun. I'm glad everyone got to see it. Um, and uh, I, I love you all. Thank you so much for being here. What do, you, do you have anything to add there, McCormick? No, no. I mean, it was great. It was nice chatting with everybody again. It's been a while since we've gotten on and done this. So, I mean, thank you all for showing up. I mean, I'm piggybacking on Dover here, but hey, hey, audience. Hey, what? <laughs> um, all right. Uh, it's time for the Dover Show. The Dover Show. We'll be back. The, the Dover Show. Okay. Um, <coughs> all right. Well, fairly well. And, uh, and say goodbye, Randar. Yep. Take care, everyone. You're supposed to say goodbye, Randar. Goodbye, Randar. There you go. <laughs>